What is up, my good people? We are back again with another episode of Omori. And in the last episode, we thought we were toast. But you know what? We managed to get out of that Brevin. And we managed to come all the way back here to the Deep Well to continue on with our story. And musical clams! Would you believe it? Oh my god, that sounded awful. I just kind of want to see if there's anything within these musical clams. Or if it's just... Or if, it, or if this is just pointless for me to stay here. I don't know if there's supposed to be like some sort of key or whatnot. I would assume so. But who the fuck knows. And I just realized I just had, I just respawned everyone. Cool. Alright. Just need to find the first fucking exit and then we'll go there. First exit we go through. First of all, let me just pick up this clan. Ooh, where does this lead us to? It lead us right next to a toll. Hello. I was expecting to see some life, uh, some sea life, but I wasn't expecting this. Oh, well, well, what were you expecting, my G? Ooh. Fish head. A fish head house. Let's see what we have over here. Hello. Catching and raising fish is a hobby of mine. Past its time and is moderately rewarding. Hmm. Well, have you ever heard of the reverse fish? I mean, not reverse fish. Uh, reverse mermaid. There you go. Full of fish, but only the bones. That sounds awful, buddy. Oh, just out of curiosity, do you have any batteries? I would very much, I would very much like if I would, if you can give me some batteries over here. I need to power one of these guys up. Let me just turn it off for it. God's sakes. No, if I remember correctly, I think they said that the toll. Hey there, good chumps. Pleasure to meet you. So you kids want to access the toll roll? Well, sure, but while we're at it, let's make this a little fun. Why don't you spin this wheel for me? 604 clams? That's someone's lucky number. No. Don't be so stingy, my guy. Really? That's kind of a little excessive for a toll, don't you think? Don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm running low on clams, it just seems... ...excessive. Alright, what kind of view do we have here in the ocean? Hello, what do we have here? It's not the biggest telescope. But... We do see what looks like to be some sort of city nearby. Wonder what that's about. Well, I'm still not going to pay the toll. It'll be my pleasure. It'll only cost you 2,000 clams. No. I do not want to play. No, buddy. Shut up. God damn it. I'll, I'll, I'll just pass the toll. Whatever. Screw you guys. I have the time and I have the wits. And I have the clams to do so. Right, we have exit number two over here. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, it's sweetheart. Oh! <laughs> now, where do you think you're going, sweetheart? How can you even do that? God damn it. What is she up to? What is she cooking? So why is Snaily there again? And also, what do we have over here? It is mortals! Would you look at that? Hello. The water here is a bit warmer than it is in the cave up in the mountains. Interesting. Whoa! Where did all these guys come from? Man! I keep filling in the holes, but they just keep coming back. How much of this stuff did I pass? Oh, it's another toll. Hell no. New potholes every day? I hope I'm getting paid overtime. What do we have in this yellow submarine? We have food! And we also have Captain Space Boy! Or I guess Space Ex Husband. Ah, oh, dude. What's up? To all those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. My guy. <laughs> 
my guy. It's not the music you should be playing. Buddy. Buddy. You need some help. I, I don't I don't know what I don't know what to do or to say to you. Oh, I thought I, I thought I couldn't move at all. Captain Space Boy, Space X husband. What do I do? What what do I do to make him notice me? Hello? Space pirates are entranced by their captain. Where can I turn off the music? Aubrey, put some sense into this man. Or not. So I don't think I can put some sense into this guy at all. Hi, I'm Sadie. My sisters and I started this cafe together. But since clams have been tight, a lot of my sisters decided to start working at the last resort. Just me and my sister Eleanor left. Uh, I wish they would come back here. I would do anything to hear them sing again. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way I can I can help you out there, Sadie. I wonder. Maybe if I don't know, I can invest in your business or whatnot. Okay, the mustard sub. May I take your order? Ooh, the combo meal. That actually looks a lot more appealing now that I'm looking at it. I don't know. I just really haven't been using these things at all. What do I do? What do I do with Captain Space Boy over here? Is there anything that I can do to help him out? Well, I don't think there is. Unfortunately, the man is a lost cause. Still singing, no matter how many times I go back there. Cool bike. Damn straight, that's a cool bike. Love yourself. I agree with that. Be kind to others. Definitely agree with that. I donate to charity. Don't know about that one. Respect your community. Don't know about that one either. I agree with the first two. I don't know about the like, I'm just kidding over here. Whoa, what do we have over here? All natural sea cow farms? Oh. Uh, Squizzards? I mean no harm to you, squid buddies. I just kind of need you to go away. If you could do that for me very generously. Hold on, I'm not here to cause trouble. Not here to cause trouble. Not here to cause trouble. Alright, what's up? Hey there, partner. Around these parts, I'm known as the sea cow farmer. But you could just call me Jim. The farm's been a family business that's been going on for generations. But the upkeep ain't so easy with the land being overrun by squizzards and all. I tell you what, with all those dang squizzards running around, it's a miracle that this farm is still standing. If only there was someone who could help me get rid of these darn squizzards, I'd pay anything. Hey, you know what? I just had a brilliant idea. If y'all don't mind getting rid of some slimy, stinky squizzards, I'd happily employ your services for some clams. I know it ain't much, but it's all I got. Can't have no peace here with all those darn squizzards running around. Aw, oh, don't worry, Farmer Jim. Don't you worry, I'll take care of these squizzards in a jiffy. Your sea cows, uh, moo. Your sea cows will be safe, trust me. Alright, buddies, remember how I said I mean no harm? Well, guess what? I mean all the harm now! Let's go! <laughs> All right, that should be all the squizzards over here. Doubt there's anything more. Farmer Jim! Hey, y'all. I've noticed lately that there are a lot less squizzards causing trouble around these parts. You kids are really doing your fair share of work. Here's some clams for your effort. Go on and get some mouse for yourself. <laughs> yep. Y'all don't mind. Really? There's still more squizzards? Oh my god, there's still more! Oh, I took care of them all! Oh. Well, I guess. I guess I could still earn some good clams for this. But my god. How many squizzards are you dealing with here, Jim? What in tarnation are all these squizzards doing here? All right, that should be all the squizzards again. Hopefully. All right, Farmer Jim. Give me the dough. 
A lot less squizzers. Thank you very much, yield partner. 6,000 clamps. There's still more outside. Come on. Oh my lord. Farmer Jim. You need something more than fucking genocide over here. You need some like some sort of pesticide to get rid of all these goddamn squizzards. All right. I took care of the squizzards. All the squizzards. Once again. Farmer Jim. Do we have a deal now? Have I dealt with your issue? All the squizzards. Thank you very much. Oh my. Farmer Jim. You're going to make me go to sleep with how many squizzards I have to deal with. I'm just so glad that I'm able to take them out right away because I would not be able to... I, I don't know what... What kind of nightmare it would be for me if I had to take out all of these guys while I was still like what level 30 level 40 because these guys they can still they can still pack a punch mind you I, I pack way more of a punch than they do but considering that I have to go through about what like 500 health and hmm, things like these probably would go for like I don't know three turns at max all right, Farmer Jim, this is the third time I've cleared your shit out. Yes, there's a lot less squizzards. Thank you very much, and there's still more. How many more times do we have to go through this? How many times do we have to tell you this, old man? All right, you know the drill. All squizzards are gone. Farmer Jim... Thank you very much. There's less squizzards. I really appreciate these clams. 5,000 clams. There's still more. All right. Oh, one of these days. One of these days. It's come to the point where I had to fight these squizzards for so goddamn long that I decided to put on the clam coin for hero because why the fuck not? Look at all these clams that I got. I need more clams, right? I mean, if I'm just going to be over here and help fucking Farmer Jim farm... As many clams as I can, you know? Might as well make it worth it, right? 4,500 clams. And would you look at that? Squizzards galore. Don't know how long I've been here, but I can definitely tell you. I've been here for a little too long. I've probably been here for already an episode already. Armor Jim, my buddy, my pal. I've completed all these, uh, getting rid of all these squizzards. Now then. Are we over? We are still not. I'm still making big bucks though. And my god. Farmer Jim, how many of these do you have? How many squiz- What kind of squizzard colony are you dealing with? Do I have to kill its queen or something? Alright, Farmer Jim. I took care of the squizzards again. Oh, uh, at this point in time, the clams aren't even worth it. I just want this. I just want this to be goddamn over with. I want to move on with the episode, but I can't because of all these squizzards. Armor Jam, you know the drill. Just give me my change. Tell me to fuck off. Please, just tell me you're done and over with. You're not. I'm about to lose it. I am actually about to lose it. Oh! Oh! What is that? Squizzard exterminator! Oh my god, I was just finding these these damn squizzards and then all of a sudden that, that just popped up. Oh, does, does that mean I'm getting somewhere? Does that mean, does that, is this the last one? Well, there's still like three squizzards that are just waiting for me outside right now. But does, does that mean that uh, I'm almost done? Please? Please? Alright, Farmer Jim, please. I, I got an achievement. If this doesn't tell me that all the squizzards are gone, I'm fucking off. Hey y'all, notice there are less squizzards, blah blah blah. Some clams for your effort. 6,000 clams. Farmer Jim. Farmer Jim. What the actual fuck, bro? Oh my god! 
Right, to hell with you, Farmer Jim. I've had it with these damn squizzards. You can take care of them yourselves. I have been here for way too long. I am losing my sanity here. Now then, what was I supposed to do? Ah, oh, yes, sweetheart. How could I forget? Oh, wait. All of those damn squizzards! Oh. <laughs> Alright, Snaily. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I do not have the patience to deal with you. Friends, it's good to see you again. Lovely weather, isn't it? I have become much stronger since the last time we met. Will you help me test my abilities? I'll do my best. I taught myself some skills since our last battle. You'd better watch out. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's what they all fucking say. But you know what? I, I had it. 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 All right, Aubrey, you know what to do. Give Snaily the good old one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> okay, police stop. That's enough. Thanks. I feel much stronger now. As a token of my gratitude, have this coffee. My friend gave it to me. Snaily, I don't want your goddamn coffee. Well, now I'll walk across this dangerous looking bridge to hone my skills to perfection. Next time we meet, I'll be even stronger. That's what you said this time. And you know what? You were full of bullshit. I don't want to hear it. As long as you know your goddamn place, I am fine. Ah, that's right. I almost forgot. I should probably give Hero the gold watch. Definitely 100% gold. You could tell by the wig. That's terrible. Hell no. Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, red ribbon, red ribbon. I I have to give him back the red ribbon because clam coin. I have more than enough clams. This is honestly as much clams as I, as I really wish to get. And I do not want to grind out to 999,999. That is excessive for me. God damn! How many enemies are there everywhere? I already had to deal with a bunch of squizzards, and now I have to deal with every single one of these. Fish bunnies, reverse mermaids, mussels. My brother in crime, and I just want to pass through. Is that so much to ask? Is it? Alright, finally, they're all taken out now. Good old cheeseburger. Ah, oh, I just realized I also have to deal with Sweetheart's bitch ass. Nelly, my god. It, it is not good to see you. I'm just saying this right now. It is not good to see you. It, it, it was originally, but you know what? I just don't want to. I bet I'm almost as strong as you now. You'd better take this seriously. Yeah, that's what they all say. Alright, everyone knows what to do, right? Let's tickle Snaily down a bit, give him the good old stink eye, and Aubrey, you give him the good old 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11! <coughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> How is he not dead? Alright, buddy. You aren't the only one who can use emotions. And now it's time for my ultimate skill. You release energy. Oh, wait a minute. We're all angry and he's happy. Shit! Ow! That was not very cash money of you. Uh... Can we just exploit him? Honestly, that, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, annoy him. And hero, snack time! There we go, I don't want this attack to be dull. Exploited! Loser. Alright, Snaily's just gone. He fucked off completely. Wait, actually? Did he fuck off completely? Where is he? Bro, I literally do not see Snaily here anywhere. Did I see, is he seriously just not a part of this Bofax? Really? I have I have three Sir Maximuses! Sir Maximi! But I have no Snaily! It's kind of a dick move, game! Kind of a dick move! Alright, Mari. 
Looks like we reached the end of the road. Literally, it looks like there's a long bridge up ahead. Whatever you do, don't look down. Wait a minute. Where exactly are you talking about? Okay, first of all. Okay, good, good, good. For a minute, I thought I thought fucking Farmer Jim was gonna be on over here. I was gonna, I was gonna lose it. <laughs> Absolutely lose it. Yeah. All right. All right. So she she considers it complete. Fine by me. Fine by me. As long as you consider it complete, that that's fine. What's up? This is the end of the highway. Okay. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go over there. Considering she he also says don't look down. What about over here? What do we have over here? We have a clam! A singular clam! And I love how these things are obstructing my view. Oh! Uh, how about we save? How about we save? I can't believe we really made it all the way to the end of the highway. But you did, and you all should be proud. The bridge at the top of this cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Where it is that Deeper Well has been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't there until recently. Who knows what's on the other side? And do you think that's where Basil is? We don't know for sure, but there's only one way to find out. You're damn right, there is only one way to find out. But I'm more curious. I am much more curious as to what's over here. This is the end of the highway. Alright. I guess it's the literal end of the highway. I can't go any more farther. How come that's the end of the highway? Yet there's an endless highway from Deep Well all the way to Last Resort. How does that make sense? Clear bridge stretches across the trench. Do you want to cross it? Yes. Let's just let's just cross it. We need to find our boy Basil! Basil! <laughs> Where are you? Alright, I left nothing behind, I'm pretty sure. Although, I still need to find that weapon, inspiration, thingamabob. The material that Burley's looking for, but I have no clue where that could be. That could be fuck all for all I know. Wow! Just look at this place. There's so many cool plants around. I bet Basil would have really liked it here. Basil. He would have really liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. Well, what do we do? Huh? What is it? Hey. I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? I do. Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he al he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend, and more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him. As long as we have Amori to keep us on track. Yes, sir -y! I got you, my guys. All this time, Basil has been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. Then, when we're all together again, we should all give him a big old hug. <laughs> Aww, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. And, and we fucked up. <laughs> huh? Me and Kel? G get along? Oh, what are you talking about, Hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. 
Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. Damn straight, I am not gonna lose my buddy, my pal Basil. He's somewhere out there and I need to look for him. Uh, hello, Earth to Deeper Well. Have you seen this man? His, his name is Basil. Uh, I have a, a drawing of him. You know, he kind of looks like this. You know, but like, better. That's that's as that's as best as I could put it. Uh, my lord, your memories are not free. Hey, it's a blank. Imagine calling yourself blank. Cannot be me. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded, and yet all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed. The curse of deeper well. That's sad. That's hell of depressing. I don't wanna I don't wanna forget Basil. I'd rather forget fighting all those goddamn squizzers than forget my buddy my pal Basil. The real question is where do I go from here? Uh with time, what is important will change. You must choose what you will keep and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. Man, this is getting all depressing and shit. Where the hell do I go? What do I do from here? I've been fighting for so long that... Okay, never mind. <coughs> As I was saying, I've been fighting for so long that... I generally don't know what else to do. God damn. Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you. What makes you human? What makes me human? Well, it's the ability to feel, is it not? To feel and have a conscience? Oh, god damn it! Don't tell me that I have to go all the way back! Ah, oh. Fine, I will. Right, so I guess if that's not the way, I'll take center. Uh, let's see here. When trouble shows itself, there's always the choice to run. But one day, you may very well find yourself running alone. Hmm. I don't like that sentiment. Life jam! But I do like that prison though! Life jam! Ah, uh, Basil, where are you, my buddy, my pal? The sun shined brighter when she was here. There's no shot you're talking about Mari. That's exactly what was written on her gravestone. Oh, uh, what do we have here? It kind of sucks having to keep going left and right instead of being able to go diagonally. Uh, I think I might want to keep going left. I don't know if I want to go right just yet. Actually, if that's a portal, then what is the, where does the right lead me to? If it leads me to another portal, I'm going to be upset. Hazel. Oh, where is my buddy Basil? A long time has passed since he ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. My lost friend, where is he? You would like to know more about your lost friend. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. He cannot leave that place alone. To achieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world. For headspace. The journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, dreamer. Is there anything else you would like to know? Yes, please. What's the 
big yellow cat, the one in, the one by the stump. He would like to know more about the big yellow cat. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. Alright, just out of curiosity, there's no shot that the three that you're referring to are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero. Hero's the oldest, Aubrey's the wisest, and Kel is the favorite. Because what you just said kind of describes what happened with all three of them. You know, Hero was more- Hero was pretty fucked up after the death of Mari. Aubrey isolated herself from everyone else, and, well... Hell is just watching over me, waiting for the day that I leave. I leave the house so he can, you know, talk with me, why not? You would like to know more about white space? Yes, it's the one thing they have no clue at all. To be in white space is to be in nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive but not to live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form. And if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb. The repression of an idea. Yes. Perhaps it is time to admit that you are human, dreamer. You have listened well. I have granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There is a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you the sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? I understand. Stand very still, dreamer. Uh, we're gonna be fine, right? We're gonna be fine, right? Uh, hello. Hey, that's me! A red juicy apple hangs from this tree. Would you like to eat the apple? God damn it, this just screams religion! The apple of Eden! Ah! I committed a sin, did I not? Sunny? Mori gained 50 heart. Mori gained 50 juice. Mori gained 10 attack, 10 defense, 10 speed. What, what is that? What do I hear in the background? That, that is just... That's, that's not it, Chief. What the fuck did I do? What did I do? A branch girl, it is not alive. Oh my god, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? What are these voices that I'm hearing? What are these noises? I'm not schizo! I'm actually hearing this through the headphones. I don't know if you guys can. 
but I can. What the hell? Can we get a timeout real quickly? Can we just get a timeout real quickly? I'm just curious as to where does this place lead me to? If the other, if the center one leads me to, well, the, the, the deeper well, then where does this place lead me to? Rain cloud. Hello? What if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, dreamer. You're the only one who can. Uh, God damn it, why does there have to be a fork in the road? Hello. It is selfish to dream for so long when there are those who are expecting you. Oh, sorry. Time will always move forward. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this as well. Don't you, dreamer? My god, everyone's just giving Omori the stink eye. But I mean, I guess to some degree, like, he does need to snap out of it, you know? Trapped in four years within your house is not the healthiest. I don't know exactly what he thinks or what's going on through his mind, other than this imaginative world. But there has to be a reason, right? The universe is full of questions that you will never answer. Yet, there are also ones that only you can answer. When the truth is revealed, what will you do? God damn it. Well, this path just did nothing to me other than scold me. Now I have to go through this entire path again. Alright, I'm back here. What do you losers have to tell me? Where is this place? That's the real question. An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? Hey guys, you know, you're still here with me, you know? If I would appreciate it if you guys would just say something to me, you know? Keep my hopes up. But uh, no, this is all just my imagination. Uh, Mari's picnic basket. Deeper well. Well, there has to be something at the end of this, right? Excuse me? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who are you? Well, hello there, friends. The name is Humphrey. What brings you here to my humble little cave? Oh, hello, Humphrey. We're just looking for someone. Uh, sorry if we're bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you are the second group to visit me today. The first was just a girl, a very loud girl with a big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Huh? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm, where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> That's the joke. It is! She is inside me, you see. Sh she's inside you? Why, yes, she is visiting my guests, for I am also home to a family of sea witches. We spend our time together. Chatting and chuckling. It is so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they are even so kind as to bring me my meals. It's much easier for them, you see, for they are closer to my belly than I. In fact, I'm sure they'd love even more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies. The first guest seems to be causing some indigestion. Uh, 
Just give me a bit, Humphrey. I just need to look around. Never mind. There's nothing for me to look around here. All right. I guess we're. I. I guess this is the religion episode. You know, I'm playing. I'm playing the role as Jonah. <laughs>